Let's continue getting loads for our design project. You should have the loads for the slab. You can get those from the given information for the project. And what you should have gotten was 100 PSF for the quarters because it's light storage, 65 PSF live load for the office because it's office load of 50 and partitions of 15. Uh, the dead load was given as 18 in on the floors and a five inch thick slab was 62.5 PSF. On the roof, we had 20 live, eight dead and the same thickness slab. Now what we're going to do is get the loads for the beams and the girders and we'll do this in steps. The very first thing we need to do is to get the tributary width for the beams and for the girders. It's a little complicated because I gave the outside to outside dimensions of the building, but the columns interior were dimensioned center to center. Uh, here are those loads I was talking about. The loads for the roof, they're summarized here. And here are the live loads and dead loads for the floors, summarized. We'll come back to that. What we need to do is get the tributary width. So for the beams, for example, beam number five, uh, tributary width is from there to here. That's supposed to be halfway over, okay. Uh, let me do that a little better. Um, okay. So let me try and put that, that's like halfway between the two beams and that's halfway. Okay, so that's the tributary width for beam five. Similarly for the orange girders, we need to get their tributary width. So let me try to do that. And from there to there, that would be the tributary width for girder C. So, um, these are a little complicated, the details. Let me just go through it so we can all have the same widths. Here are uh, the dimensions for the beams. And so if you see these dimensions here, nine foot, eight inches from the outside to the center line of the next beam, seven, 10, eight, nine, and eight, nine. I've drawn those here, nine, eight, seven, 10, eight, nine, eight, nine. I assumed a 12 inch wide uh, beam. And if you do all the clear spans, take half of those, go to either the edge of the beam or the middle of the beams, uh, you get these dimensions here okay, and so on. And if, for example, beam two, the tributary width is eight feet, six inches. The tributary width for beam three is eight feet, three and a half inches. And for beam four and all other interior beams, uh, eight foot, nine inches. And the tributary width for beam one, which we are not going to design in my class, five foot, one inches. There you go. These are the tributary widths for beams two, three, and four. And if you have a little spreadsheet like this here, you would put those in here. And I, just to make it a little more convenient, I made the, the roof framing plan identical to the floor framing plan. And uh, that normally wouldn't be the case, but we're just trying to uh, make this a little easier for my class. So there you go. These are the tributary widths for the beams. Next, let's get the tributary widths for the girders. <clears throat> I did a similar thing. I'm not going to go through all the details. Um, so for the girders, I assumed the 18 inch wide uh, girder and those are the dimensions 23, 20, 20, and 23. Let me show you that. So right here, uh, the orange girders, uh, here they are 23, 20, 20, and 23. 
And for example, uh, girder C obviously has a tributary width of 20 feet. And if you look at uh, that, um, <clears throat> I'll just spare you the details. These are the tributary widths for B, C, D, E, well, D, E, B, C, A, B, C, D, and E. These are the tributary widths. There you go. So uh, let me even just copy those. So uh, 11, well, let's do the girders. 8, 6, 8, 3.5, and 8, 9. So I got for beam two, eight foot six inches, eight foot 3.5 inches. Let me write that a little better. Eight foot six inches, eight foot 3.5 inches, eight foot nine inches, etc. And for A, B, C, and D, the girder tributary widths, I got to be, let's see, where did they go, girders? Uh, 11, 10 and a half, 21, one and a half. 11, 10 and a half, 21, one and a half. Uh, 11 foot, 10 and a half, 12 foot, one point, 21 feet, one and a half, and 20 feet. Anyway, uh, if you trust me, I did all the geometry for this, and those are the tributary widths for beams one, two, three, four, and all the interior ones are like four. And we only have five girders, and so those are the tributary widths for A, B, C, D, and E.